Hello and welcome to the show. We have another rivalry for you here today. This is the Dodge Charger, you can see driving around now, and the Ford Mustang. Now this is from the film Bullet, and I'm kind of sad to say that most of you might not have seen Bullet, might not even know what it is. Uh, some of you will probably know because of the famous car chase. Uh, it's... Oh, it's not the first car chase, but it's one of the most iconic car chases, one of the first really properly well done car chases, and it is between a Dodge Charger and a Ford Mustang. Now, I absolutely love muscle cars, so I was very happy to do this rivalry. I, I'm sort of a huge fan of these cars because it's just, it's just sort of simple. It was a case of put a big engine with as much horsepower as you can get into it to make the car go fast in a straight line for as little money as you could. Compared to other cars of the time, muscle cars were very, very cheap for the sort of performance you got. Value for money wise, nothing from that time period was even near in performance. Okay, yes, they're not the greatest through the corners, I'll come to that a bit later. Uh, but I, I just love the cars, I love the look of them, they always look sort of menacing. Uh, and that's not the sort of a look that you get from many other sort of cars. And also the sound is fantastic from these huge V8s. Uh, they didn't have a huge amount of power if you compare them to modern cars, but again, for the time, they are hugely powerful. This Dodge Charger, for example, wasn't the most powerful of the lot, but it still had 375 horsepower which is pretty good going. Weighs 3,600 pounds, so it's not particularly lightweight. Uh, it's also a rather large car in dimensions. Um, now, 0-60 time is 6 seconds, which I think is pretty damn impressive for a car that's, I'm just trying to do the maths here, 44 years old? I think I've got that right, but I, I don't know. Uh, 6 seconds to 60 is sort of like what a modern hot hatch will do. Uh, so that, I'd say that's pretty damn quick. Uh, top speed is 143, but that's not because the engine sort of runs out of puff. That's because of gearing. Muscle cars, or the majority of them, I think the Shelby Cobra is the only one that had more than four gears. I might be wrong on that one. Uh, but muscle cars only ever had four, most of them only ever had four gears, which means they often run out of gears before they actually run out of speed. How fast one of these would go with a proper gearbox, I don't really know. Uh, I, I just love this car. The, the Charger is one of my all-time favourite muscle cars. It's kind of hard to explain why, but I think it's just a fantastic looking car, and it's also probably one of the most iconic. Now, the car that it up against is a Ford Mustang. Well, it's a little bit tricky with this one because the correct Ford Mustang isn't actually in Forza, so I'm using a Shelby GT500 Mustang. It's a similar age, and it is a similar model to the one that was used in the film. The Shelby Mustang is actually a little bit faster than the one which was used in the film. Now, this Mustang here has 349 horsepower, so it's not quite as powerful as the Charger. Weighs 3,500 pounds, or a little bit over that actually. So it's a little bit lighter. Uh, 60 times, 6.2 seconds, so very, very similar. Uh, top speed is only 122 miles an hour though. This car just doesn't quite have uh, the gears. The gears are really short on this. So the 060 time, I'm amazed, is actually slower than the Charger. Not to 100 time is better on this car, but it tops out at 122. And I just, it's a bit weird on this car. The gears are far too short. It's just sort of buzzing in the limiter. But then again, when you're driving it around a track, this is a fairly long track actually, as, so I'd never had a problem here. I did test the sort of speed run on this, and yet the charge is much quicker in a straight line. Now, we're going to get to handling. People who say muscle cars can't go around corners, you're wrong. I did fall off the track there. That was a really bad time to try and say that. Now, people who say, oh, muscle cars can't go around a corner, much like going to fall off the road. No, it's not going to fall off the road. Look, it's gone around the corner there. The charger went around all the corners. If you drive the car to its limit, it will not fall off the road. Sure, if you try and drive this like a Lotus Elise, you know, you're going to have a bad time. But then, if you drive a Lotus Elise like an idiot, it's still going to crash it. You drive a muscle car to its limits, and it will stay on the road, and you will still relatively decent lap times on it. I'm talking about Forza here, I've never driven a muscle car in real life, but I assume the same is, is apparently. There were Trans Am races that used muscle cars, you know, I think that's what they're called anyway. I don't really know much about that. Uh, but yeah, if you drive them to its limits, it's fine. Uh, now, comparing these two cars handling-wise, now both of them are a little bit bouncy through the corners, got quite a lot of body roll. The Charger is actually quite a lot better uh, than the, the Shelby Mustang. The Charger is a lower car, and I think it has stiffer suspension, so it doesn't wallow as much through the corners. Now, we could put both of these cars around the test track, but they're not going to do particularly good lap times. So instead, we're going to have a little race. Now, unfortunately, there's no way we can even attempt to recreate the, the bullet car chase, because we just don't have the terrain. The, the film itself was shot in San Francisco with those famous sort of steep roads, and I've only ever seen two games that have that those those sort of terrains in, or these two games I can remember, and neither of them have got the right cars, and I haven't even got one of them at the moment. So yes, we're going to race around Infineon because this is the hilliest of the tracks. Now, as I was saying, with the with the handling on these cars, the Charger is the better of the two. I have to be honest. Um, it's it's lower to the ground. I 
I think the, the, the actual body line is lower. Suspension is a little bit stiffer, has a much lower centre of gravity. Whereas the Shelby, you'll see it as it comes through here, is rather wibbly wobbly. Um, it's not terrible, it's perfectly drivable, both these cars are. Um, but yeah, it does struggle to keep up with the Mustang. Now, an interesting fact, actually, when I went on the internet, I was just sort of looking a little bit. This was Wikipedia, I will point out that. So it could be wrong, but I was looking at, and I was watching, or not watching, I was looking at something that was about the film, and apparently the drivers of the Charger, who drove the Chargers in the film, said that they were actually having to slow down because the Mustang was struggling to keep up. Um, and as you can see here, even with the Shelby Mustang, which is more powerful than the one that's used in the film, the one that's used in the film is a V8 Fastback. I think I've got that right. I don't. I'm, I think that, I'm pretty sure that's the right one. That's not, but it's not in Forza, so I happen to use this upgraded one. Even the Shelby Mustang is struggling to keep up with the Charger, which is a little bit surprising. I mean, I'm, the handling is a little bit worse on the the Shelby, but acceleration is sort of a bit better once you get it past 60. I'm surprised it was struggling. I will point out I am racing Daniel here. Uh, we are both very, very similar driver skill levels, although I do slightly prefer Infineon NASCAR to him. He's not a particular fan of this track. So maybe a bit of driver skill is coming into this, but the Mustang does struggle quite a bit, actually, compared to the Charger. It's a little bit weird because the PI system suggests the Mustang should be a little bit faster. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> um, as far as prices go, yes, these two cars are expensive. Um, the, the Charger, you're looking at 64,000 credits. The Shelby is 80,000 credits which is quite a lot of money for what are essentially D-Class cars. To be honest, I would still pay the money because I, I love these cars. Out of the two, I would personally have the Charger uh, because, yeah, I'm, I'm sort of biased on that one. I, the Dodge Charger is fantastic, but I would very, very happily have the Shelby Mustang over most modern supercars. Uh, it's hard to explain why. I, I just love muscle cars. They're, they're an incredible thing. Uh, so there we go. That is it for this rivalry. The Dodge Charger is the quicker of the two. Um, I, I think I can pretty much categorically say that. Uh, I did mess up the last corner a little bit, so the finish was actually quite close. Uh, the Dodge Charger is quite a bit quicker, surprisingly quicker. Uh, it will come down to driver skill, of course, as it normally does whenever you are racing. But I have to say the Dodge Charger would be the one I would prefer anyway. I'm sure everybody else will have your own opinions. Now, next week we're going to do another rivalry, so if you could please leave your suggestions in the comment section. I will take the top favourited one, or the one that I like, or the one that will work best. Um, so yes, please do leave comments on what cars you would like to see compared to each other, and we will do another rivalry. Uh, depends on the car, it may well be either a race or it may end up around the test track. Don't know yet, we shall see what happens. But that is it for this video guys, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, goodbye.